Hey guys, it's a beautiful day here in uh, Tampa, Florida. You know, you can never be sad in Florida. It's always hot and beautiful. And uh, the best news that can happen, and uh, the news happened today. There goes my brother. Look at him go. Ooh. No, but seriously, the best news happened today. Uh, kind of. So, as you know, I'm a huge Bucks fan. Woo! I got three teams. I got the Bucks, the Patriots, and the... Uh, What's it called? The, the, the Bengals. Uh, I can tell you why those are my three teams, but uh, here's the reason. Bengals, because my uncle got me into football. He was a Bengals fan. He's from, uh, you know, Cincinnati and stuff like that. Uh, Bucks, because, you know, I'm from Florida. I'm from Tampa. So out of all the Florida teams, this is the best one, in my opinion. And uh, the Patriots, because I have family in New England. And John, who's my uncle, uh, he's a huge New England guy. And uh, I've always been a huge Brady fan. And uh, now that Brady's sadly leaving the Patriots, there's only one way he can go. Come on, let's go to the Bucks, man. We got this. It's warm and sunny. You don't want to go to freaking all, all those up. Don't go to the Chargers. Go here. Nice, beautiful Florida. Uh, I know all my Patriots friends, uh, all my uh, New England friends back at school are probably pissed right now. They're like, oh, first this uh, Corona scared off the school. Now my favorite, uh, what's it called? My favorite quarterback's leaving. Well, if he leaves, he always got the Patriots. Uh, he got the Bucks, man. Come to the Bucks. I'm. He's beautiful. Here, look at this. Look how beautiful it is. Why would Why would you not want to come here? It's a nice, beautiful Florida with palm trees and gators and all the all the beaches you want. Yep, you can't beat the palm trees. Anyway, I'm super happy. <laughs> I'm talking about this. Kind of made my day. I had said that he's leaving the, the Patriots, but as long as he comes to the Bucks, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Give us the Super Bowl. We need one. It's, we haven't had one since like 2001. I forgot the exact. I know it's the 2000s. We had a Super Bowl and we won. It's like our one win. Give us another one, Brady. You can do this. Anyway, take care. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. Also, don't do anything stupid. Yep. Tom Bray announces that he'll be leaving. It's I know that though. I don't know. That's crazy. And he might come down the bus. <laughs> Florida might be getting a really good quarterback. I know all you New England fans are freaking out right now. Uh, I'm freaking out too. I'm a big New England guy too, but I wouldn't mind if he comes to the Bucks. It just means he's switching to another one of my favorite teams. I'm okay with that. <laughs> but a lot of people right now pissed. That's crazy. Yep. Looks like Tom Brady's going to the Bucks. Let's go. But he's from San Diego. He's from San Diego. Well, really from 49, from San Francisco area. His favorite team is San Francisco 49ers. Ooh. Cross fingers. I say he goes to the Bucks. Let's go. I agree with this dude right here. His best opportunity is to go to the Bucks. Randy, as a guy that played for the New England Patriots, Tom Brady is your teammate, Bill Belichick is your coach. You brought it up in terms of what we'll find out and what have you. But, you, I mean, where do you side on? Because as a player, one would imagine you're thinking about what Tom Brady does on the field. But I happen to have seen the level of this is freaking crazy. Love you really, really have for Bill Belichick and the respect that you have for his greatness. Where do you fall? <laughs> These people are freaking out about this. Where we looked at the New England Patriots and we said Tom Brady is carrying this team because a two-time champion as a defensive coordinator who now became their head coach didn't put the best defenses out there for the New England Patriots. There were several years Tom Brady was carrying the New England Patriots. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up, Marcus. Tom Brady is the greatest of all time. A lot of that has to do with work with Belichick. We will now see for the first time 
how Tom Brady does without Belichick. And he stacked the deck in his favor. He's left Belichick with a bare cupboard. He got Garoppolo shipped out. Brissett's gone. He left him. He left him with nobody there. Meantime, Brady now gets to parachute in either the Chargers with a ton of offensive weapons or the Bucks who have a ton of offensive weapons. Choose the Bucks. <laughs> Do the Bucks. Choose the Bucks. We need a new quarterback. We got rid of the other guy. Belichick era. Where we can see how did Belichick do without this guy? Thirteen and six. So is he better with Brady? Of course he's better with Brady. Brady's a great quarterback, but he's thirteen and six without him. Thirteen and six with Matt Castle and Brissett for a, game, a couple games and, and Garoppolo for a couple games, but eleven and whatever it was with Matt Castle that year. We know what he is already. To, to your point, like we know both of these guys are the greatest at what they've done, head coach and quarterback. But, but, but this whole notion that Tom Brady has been done wrong because Bill Belichick this is just crazy. come on television and lord over Tom Brady. Or he didn't make mention that Tom Brady is the greatest of all time. Man, miss me with that foolishness. Bill Belichick had a job to do. Tom Brady had a job to do. Sure, there were personal things that went on that you disagree over 20 years, like everybody that's in a marriage. I'm sure that everything wasn't uh, roses and peachy and all of that. But at the same time, when we have a conversation 10 years from now about Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, we are going to attach the greatest ever to both of their names. So if somebody can tell me another reason why we shouldn't, why we should feel sorry for Tom Brady because the relationship between well, him and Bill Belichick wasn't the greatest. They need to really hunker down and explain that to me. There are well, thousands try right, of quarterbacks that I'll, come through this I'll, league. There will be thousands right of quarterbacks now. that come through this I'll league right in, <laughs> that will never achieve what Tom Brady has been able to do because Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots organization put him in a position to be successful. You know what? You True. can huff, you can puff, but you ain't blowing nobody's house down this week. <laughs> I'm just going to see what you get out of this week when we get back from commercial and we'll elaborate on why. <laughs> These guys are not happy with each other. But you ain't just happy to be there. And I'll deal with you in a second. <laughs> I'll deal with you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> 